What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We got some more Conflict 47 for you. So we picked up one expansion initially here for the Germans, um, and this is uh, one of the sort of post-war units that you'll see for the game. Again, this is taking place in a sort of alternate 1947. So again, lots of weird things uh, will be on the tabletop. So guys in powered armor, mechs of various kinds, crazy Tesla weapons, and other um, just, you know, sci-fi stuff here so anyway so nice easy uh, and pretty you know pretty, overall pretty cool purchase here for the germans is the wehrmacht heavy infantry so basically as we can kind of see here so germans loaded down in what is essentially power armor here and everybody in the squad is rocking a um, sturmgewehr or assault rifle here so lots of mobility in that sense um, I, assuming the rules are the same there for the assault rifle carrying over from bolt action, and then, you know, just, again, good firepower, mobility firepower there. And a couple of the guys uh, can have um, Panzer Shreks as well. So uh, the box will give you eight metal guys here, so, and overall pretty simple to get everything built up and assembled here. Not really much in the way of assembly. So here is our, are the contents here. So backpacks, again, pretty beefy on these guys. Lots and lots of things in these backpacks here. Pouches, looks like partially also needed to power the armor here. Again, pretty simple just to glue on here. As you can kind of see in the background here, we got a couple that have the Shreks on there. Need a little bit of bending in place, or bending back, I should say. that heads basically we get a full set here full grip so again most of these will be um i guess about half and half uncovered and masked i kind of wish we would have gotten enough to go all either way so that's something warlord might uh be able to fix at some point down the road uh, especially if these guys ever go uh, get like a resin re-release or something like that i feel that being able to have plenty of head options would be cool there so now should be possible with a little bit of work if you have some spare plastic heads from any of the other kits laying around you could probably customize there without really too much in the way of issues so pretty much everybody has a set of arms holding the gun here so basically just attach it to whichever pose really shouldn't pose any problems pun intended there one of the guys though does already have his arms in place and everybody just needs the head which begs the question why couldn't the rest of these been like that um not that it's a big deal anyway but just seems kind of unnecessary but again uh, i guess that would make everybody basically you know exactly their pose i guess there's a little bit of flexibility there just depending on how you want to glue the arms in place but really i mean can we just go all or one there that's kind of just a minor gripe but either way Pretty easy to work with, nonetheless. A little bit of trimming to do here. Obviously, got to get the sprue stuff off there and uh, bend some things back into place. Again, everything is metal here, so expect lots of bent barrels and uh, magazines, other things like that. The bodies, though, if you can get this to properly focus. There we go. Um, so overall, pretty robust here. And again, nice that these are essentially one piece. And on the back end there. So overall, not very complicated. Just some big, chunky infantry here. And most of them are in some sort of like walking pose. Not, I wouldn't say necessarily a run, a full-on run with these things. But again, overall, I think a pretty solid kit. And again, I think just in general, you know, conflict hasn't really gotten that much attention, certainly lately. So certainly flying under a lot of radars. But again, if you enjoy bolt action already, want to try something different and don't necessarily want to jump into a brand new system like playing Dust or something, for example, um, although a fantastic game in its own right, this is conflict is just one that makes a whole lot of sense. You already know essentially most of the rules and you get to try out some new things for each of you, the factions you might uh, already be playing. And... Um, you know, go from there, just have some brand new experiences. But anyway, so 
this being one of the uh, easy upgrades here for the Germans. Again, the heavy infantry, so if you like lots of firepower, this is definitely a squad for you, and they're fairly resilient with the armor that they have as well. And a little bit of anti-tank action there with a couple of guys uh, packing the Panzerfaust if you want to upgrade into that. So overall, pretty nice kit. Again, 100% metal, so what would I like to see here maybe? Um, again, if this ever gets a resin release, just having some more head swap options um, in there, again, all masked up or um, all sort of, uh, you know, without mask, essentially. Um, maybe uh, going, instead of having, again, all these arms and stuff to assemble, just might as well just make them one piece and, you know, glue the heads in or something. I don't know. That um, could be something just to simplify the kit. But um, other than that, you know, overall, like I said, not... Uh, not really any issues with the kit. Time will tell, though, how effective they are on the tabletop once we get these guys all assembled and actually ready for some action. I know uh, pretty much mo the other major factions have some sort of equivalent to this. The U.S. has power armor guys. Uh, the Russians essentially have their version. The Brits, I believe, have like an actual automaton um, as, as a, basically a machine infantry. Um, so kind of like a 1947 Terminator, essentially. But, um, so, yeah, everybody at least has some sort of alternate infantry or a couple of kits, um, and pretty much everyone will have some sort of mech or other, again, sort of futuristic vehicle. So, and, um, along with that, again, sort of a, a weird or sci-fi-ish version of an existing tank. So, again, Germans, we saw that with the German Army unboxing, um, you know, Americans have, a, I think, a crazy version of a Sherman. Russians have something, I think, modified on a T-34 and so on and so forth. Brits, I think, have a uh, sort of a, a newer uh, Cromwell with some some crazy weaponry on there, too. So, again, there's just lots of neat little things to sort of discover in this game. And, again, change up, change up your games uh, a little bit, but still keep that bolt action familiarity. So anyway, we're going on a little bit too long on this one here. So again, very much heavy infantry, eight guys, well worth picking up. Probably will pick up another one of these at some point just to have a few more of them. And again, just uh, figure out what kind of color scheme we're going to go with. I don't think we're going to go with the tan on the armor here. Um, we might try something uh, a little different, but overall, I think this is going to be a fun start to conflict. So hit us up in the comments, guys. What have you done so far with conflict? Have you bothered to pick it up at all? If you are a longtime player, what do you like for the Wehrmacht um, or not? What, um, or, you know, for your particular faction, overall thoughts on these kits here, things that you'd like to see for the game. And again, just hit us up in the comments there, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And then we will see you in the next one as we work on more conflict.